Ford factory. I think it's a new toy, how they make the F-150 there. So. so we make our way around to this corner. Um, you've seen the movie, so uh, the buildings that you, uh, or the processes, I should say, that you saw pictured in, especially movie two, are in the buildings in this area. So the long blue building in the distance is a stamping plant. The white building in front of it is the body assembly where all of the uh, uh, welding and riveting and gluing happen. And that's pretty much a totally robotic process. The distance even has a portion of pavement called porous pavement, which um, also helps to clean some of the uh, rainwater that comes down. Uh, it's passion, so they're sand below. So this is where we're allowed to take videos again. We have all the cars. We just went to the factory. It was really cool to see how they make all the F 150s here, or the Raptor ones. But I don't know. We worked over, uh, over this wall. It's kind of hard to see. They have a testing track for the four vehicles. It's kind of hard to see them. But uh, they catch a glimpse of the white hand of all the vehicles driving on, going on the curb track, water stuff. This is the outside of the museum. Just got off the bus. Pretty massive building. It's really pretty on the inside. We've already been inside, but we'll take a little tour of the inside. Inside the building. We're about to go into the museum entrance. It's pretty cool. So, with the Henry Ford Museum, and they have all the mathematics section, so. Let's go check this out, see what's in here. So this is dipping in soapy water, and how the bubbles make shapes. It's hit, and then pop, and then the new one comes in. We just have bubbles with the curves. So yeah, back on. So these are pure whole things that you can look through. You can see the images over there. But once you look through it, we got a small section. You can see actually what the image is. So this cube light is a multiplication machine. It shows you how to do it. So if I did two and four times eight. Start. So say hello. And it lights up. That's good. So here they have a Mobius band, a strip. So press the start button and follow along. It's gonna start. There we go. So it goes on the inside. Comes around. Ah, up and over. Uh, inside. Going back around. Over here. Pretty cool. So this one here, what happens is they randomly have letters that land. And that changes the position of your path. So if it's south, north, east, or west, and lands, the lights will move that direction. It's pretty cool. Where then it also has northwest, and you know, northeast, things like that. But awesome little diagram. Who's this peanut? Look, your face is so goofy. Always oh, so funny looking. Gravity. You can see the balls going around. How it backs and rotates. And it's going to go in. Thank 
Okay. All numbers and beyond. This room has history of different furniture and chairs. How they made them and pressed them. Interesting. We're looking at technology and TVs. Oh. A big executive chair. So now we have all this different farm equipment over the ages here. Steam powered ones, diesel powered ones, things like that. Prototypes. There's some wood stoves and model houses over there. That's a pretty big steam traction engine. I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. This is the Dimex house. It's a circular house. People thought it was the wave of the future. All aluminum. Surrounded closets. They have all these massive steam engines and how they were made, what they did and stuff. It's amazing what this place has. A bunch of cool stuff. What's up in here? This is a recreation of the Wright Brothers flyer. We saw the real one. Just saying. Corella Deville, Corella Deville. She doesn't scare you, no evil thing will. To see you as a camp of sudden chill. Here we have the world famous Model T. So this was the Mustang design, the pre-1962 Roadster. Imagine what it thought it could be. It's pretty cool. Behind it was the first vehicle really got 100 miles per gallon. So, but. A big locomotion, where the motor trains are. On train section. This is the Allegheny. Locomotion. So it goes through like the history of trains here. And the original ones, these little stage characters. This is the president locomotive. This is the bus that Rosa Parks had during the civil rights movement. Thousand miles on our trip. 